Welcome, my name is Elijah. And I'm Michelle. And this, this is, is Fun Possible. Possible. <laughs> I don't have a special name for this episode. So we're back at Disneyland. Uh, it's our first week back after a holiday interim, but our first overnight stay for Disneyland of 2018. So Whoa. it is the off season for both parks. So we're gonna see DCA, all of Paradise Pier is pretty much getting shut down for all of the uh, Pixar Pier updates. And then all of the Disneyland attractions are slowly one by one being transferred back over to the normal attraction. So it's not going to be uh, set up for holidays anymore. So no Haunted Mansion. Uh, they're doing updates on uh, the railway for Main Street, a few different updates. So we're gonna go check those out and get some good food tonight. We're going to Goofy's Kitchen. Yeah, Goofy's Kitchen. So well, we got I've some plans. Been. I've never been, but I'm gonna go see Goofy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not pretty right now. There's no use in looking back. Gotta laugh or gotta live. So much cute Minnie Mouse. I like this new hat. I like the dots. And I like that they've updated. I have the original version of the sweatshirt, but now it has polka dots on the sleeves. I might need this. Such a nice day today. It is really nice. It doesn't seem like it should be a January day right now. No, it's like 80 degrees outside on January 13th. Yes. Welcome to Southern California. 85 something degrees out. Actually, it's 86 degrees out Ooh. according to Apple which is really nice and actually the park isn't too crowded but it is definitely a down season day it is. Um, but there's a lot of stuff closed as you can see behind us there's a lot of walls up disney just putting walls up between us <laughs> i heard it's going to take two months for them to get through all the renovations that they're doing to Main Street. They're replacing the tracks and it's the first time ever. Ever. For the first time in forever? Yes. But I'm not wondering forever. If Just they're ever. if they're replacing the tracks, I'm wondering if they will do anything where they cut up or smell oh yes. any of the metal from the tracks. Where are you going? I'm trying to figure out where the best way is to I'm get just around going. people taking pictures. If they'll melt it down or something to that effect and have some kind of souvenir. Kind of like when uh, they updated Star Tours, all the seats for Star Tours, they cut them up and shredded them. And now I have a little piece of Star Tours seat from the original seats when it was first put in, inside of one of my pins. Oh, that's right. The piece so, of the park pins have yeah. those. So I'm wondering if they'll do like a piece I'm of the sure park pin will. where they have like pins made out of the old railroad. That makes sense. I think that'd be pretty cool. I might buy something like that. For sure. Alright, we're gonna go over to Red Rose, get ourselves something to eat. Give me a cauliflower sandwich. Just something to, to wet our beaks. To wet our beaks? Yeah. Who says that? Just uh... A little a snack. Snacks. Before we uh, go over to Goofy's Kitchen later. We still have five hours. Before. Five hours. There's a little bit of time. But you can tell that we're very excited about it already. I am. Cause I'm so over the past. And I'm living it fast. So weird. So weird. 
What is happening? You're just saying hello to people. Oh, if you haven't seen our other videos, if you stand on this little, it's funny because I'm standing on a dot and it's amplifying my voice while I'm saying it. If you stand on this little dot and then you talk into that, it amplifies your voice like a megaphone. So like right now, my voice is like, Whoa! unseasonably hot today like why am I sweating in January anyway it's the perfect weather to try the jungle julep which I've never tried before um, you can get it at Bengal barbecue um, in Adventureland and I don't I can't identify the flavors in it <laughs> it's just super fruity I want to say how it's much like, Bengal is in it like just a dash a bangle but it's definitely uh you know berry or fruit or something like that slushy not like the mint julep which is just you know like liquid over ice this is a blended um drink but i noticed it just comes out of one of those like daiquiri machines like they have in las vegas so um it's pretty sweet but i i think it's really nice for a really hot day like today so we're just kind of chilling today because since there's so many rides that are closed we can't really but well, we don't really want to wait in line because we were just here and um, Pirates is like 45 minutes, the line is super long. Even Jungle Cruise right over here has the second level of the lines open. So it's kind of a crowded day to be here even though there's not that many people at the park. So we're just hanging out waiting for our Goofy's Kitchen reservation. The night is young so I will. So close your eyes and set it free A surprising amount of people coming into the park when there is no parades and no uh, fireworks. So there's a lot of people coming in right now, more so than we saw coming in earlier today around 1.32 o'clock. Well, there is fantastic two shows, but no actual fireworks. And look at the line for ice cream, like nobody in there, that's weird. That is weird. It's still... It's really warm though. 77 degrees out right now. It's so warm, you don't need a jacket. It's like this deep is, weather. 
I would have to say that this is my perfect date. I was just gonna say this is my perfect temperature. January 13th. Only it's warm minutes. enough that you don't need a jacket. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> she say you need a light jacket on her perfect date? Yeah, you might need a light jacket. But not if you live in Southern California. That's a miscongeniality reference. You're welcome. So we just stopped by over at Trader Sam's and got ourselves some drinks. For the very first time. Yeah. We've walked by so many times and never taken the time to go in. I got the Krakatoa Punch. I don't know what's in it though, so don't ask me. It's really good. And then I got it's the very shipwreck. Fruity, but I think there's rum in it. Yeah, there's probably rum in it. Yeah. I got the shipwreck. Uh, and then I got the Trader Sam's mug to go along with it separately. That way I can walk around uh, with the plastic cup and kind of sit somewhere else. Trader Sam's gets really busy and it was Very definitely crowded. packed when we went in there. Yeah. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. The atmosphere is great. Uh, it looks they like ring the tiki a bell. room in the Polynesian hotel had a baby. Yeah, they, they have the same lights as the Polynesian. Mm -hmm. And then they have the same, um, you know, the, the singing tiki's from the tiki room? Mm -hmm. They have those. So it was really cool. And they ring a bell when you order any of these special drinks and then a little show happens. So the shipwreck, and I won't tell you exactly what happens, but you, if you order it, there's a little thing that happens. Same with the Krakatoa yeah. punch little, that I got. Something yeah. different happens for that one. So they do like a little thing and it's, it's fun. Tis fun, tis fun. We finally made it. We made it to Goofy's kitchen, and I have a ton of food on my plate right now. <laughs> can you tell I'm hungry? It is an all-you-can-eat buffet style, so I have a whole bunch of great stuff. Some really pasta, veggie spring roll, some chicken, beef brisket, mashed potatoes. Oh, those mashed potatoes are like Thanksgiving mashed potatoes. It all really looks good, and we already met my favorite. Very much Dale. Yeah. And as we were coming in, we also met Mickey. So, sure did. It's pretty fun already. I think we've said plenty of times that having, if, if you can have a character meal, it's definitely worth it every time. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we've ever had a bad character meal. No, the food is so good. You get to meet all the characters. This one has Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, Chip, and Dale. So it's a lot. Yeah, I was a little surprised that Mickey showed up. But that's always a good thing. You know, when uh, Chop Mouse, the big cheese, shows up. Look at this little potato. I'll have some potatoes with my potatoes. <laughs> so I think it's time for us to get our grub on and enjoy this meal. Yeah, we're just going to sit here and watch the show and enjoy this meal. We've been looking forward to it all day, so definitely excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dale. I love you. You look fantastic. Yeah. 
Work it. Work it. <laughs> Bye. It's Elijah's favorite. But yes, the food is very filling. The character interaction is really good. They make sure that you get to meet everyone. They have a little zippity doodah parade dance that they do like every 30 minutes. You get a really fun button. They have photo pass photographers who take your picture when you come in. And then they bring it around and you have the option to purchase it. And if you have the signature level that comes with the photo pass, you do get your digital copy included. But we opted to buy the package because it comes in a little folio and it has recipes from Zuki's Kitchen. And um, one big picture and then four smaller pictures of the same. So it was worth it for 30 bucks. You get five photos plus a little recipe and the little folio thing that I sent. So overall, I I would highly recommend it here. Well worth it. Any of the uh, character experiences, it tends to look like it's really expensive. Uh, like it came up to about 96 dollars for two people. So about 50 dollars a person, and that's pretty average for any of the character experiences that we just had. But you get to see all of the characters, which is pretty awesome. And they come right to you. Look, Pluto. Hi, <laughs> Pluto. So you get to have an experience like that, which I think is awesome because if you're doing it in the park, you don't get to have those kind of intimate experiences. And if you spend a little bit of time at the table enjoying your food, you'll see the characters at least twice. And in our experience, we've done it a few times. Like, what? We probably, this is our seventh, eighth, ninth character I don't dining. Because when we go to Walt Disney World, we do one every day, so. Oh, so this is at least like our 20th yeah, character. Yeah, like our 20th character dining experience. And I like it because I won't wait in line for the characters. Um, so, because like the line for Mickey today in Toontown was 50 minutes long, there's no way I'm going to wait in that line. So we don't get to see the classic characters especially very much because we don't want to wait in line in Toontown and this is a good way to kind of cut the line. So it includes tax, tip, all the characters and then all you can eat um, buffet style. They have salad bar, they have, you know, uh, what is that called? A carving station. A carving station. They, have they a do have a, a kids a kids area as well they with uh, kids area. more of the children's kind of uh, affair. Um, like hot dogs, they have hot dogs, buns, pizza, uh, mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, that kind of thing for the kids. Spaghetti. So there's a, a wide range. Of, the kids can be picky. So you know, some kids will only eat chicken nuggets. They got you covered. And the dessert section is crazy big here. They have like a humongous island of probably 10 different kinds of desserts. Plus you get your Sunday station. And then they have a kids dessert area too that has like peanut butter and jelly pizza, s'mores pizza, apple pie pizza. Uh, they have a fruit section, so they have something for everyone. Totally worth it in my opinion. So we forgot to film an outro yesterday. We're going back into the parks today. Second day of Disney. Whee! It's already hot out. It's a million degrees. But it's an, it's an overall nice day. It's beautiful, it's just I'm sweating already. But, what else is new? But we had a great day yesterday. Yes. Uh, Gooby's Kitchen was awesome. Yes, it was. Um, the food was so good. And everything was, was just overall a great day. Mm -hmm. Even though it's the down season, you can still have a great time at Disneyland. We literally did not go on a single ride yesterday and I still had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the little notification button so you know when we post all of our videos. You can find us on Instagram. Uh, at uh, Fun Possible, Possible and Shop Fun Possible and Shop Fun Possible and on Twitter at Fun Possible, Fun Possible Blog. Blog and on Facebook at Fun Possible and you can and also and Shop Fun Possible yeah and our uh, Etsy, Etsy shop yeah Etsy.com slash shop slash Fun Possible <laughs> so thank you again for watching and remember if you can dream it you can do it.